Suge Knight's name will reverberate throughout the hip-hop community for a long time. Suge was capable of unimaginable atrocities, which terrified many people. Everyone had no choice but to fear him. Eminem was one of the rappers who didn't give a f about Suge, even though many others had feared the man. Suge's desire to take him out only makes sense, but twice? He must have really wanted Eminem out of the way, cause damn. Keep watching till the end of this video to see Eminem reveals how Suge Knight almost killed him. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Suge Knight and Eminem's Relationship Suge Knight is widely recognized as one of the most infamous gangsters from Compton. He grew up in a neighborhood notorious for gang activity and extreme violence. Suge gained a reputation as the most feared bully in the world of rap. It came as no surprise when he established himself as a formidable figure. In 1991, he co-founded the notorious Death Row Records with Dr. Dre and Dick Griffey. This record label was responsible for launching the careers of renowned rappers such as Tupac and Snoop Dogg, among others. Now, Eminem is considered one of the most successful and influential artists in the history of hip-hop. His debut album, The Slim Shady LP, gained mainstream attention in 1999. Eminem is known for his distinctive and often controversial lyrics, and he also tackles a wide range of subjects, including his struggles, social issues, and pop culture references. The relationship between these two great figures started way back, and I'm talking about the 1990s. All these started with the short-lived partnership and friendship between Suge Knight and Dr. Dre. After Dr. Dre left Death Row Records to form a solo record label, which was in no way pleasing to the ears of Suge. So obviously this meant hell for Dr. Dre and any artist who was signed to his record label, including Eminem and 50 Cent. And their success continued to piss Suge Knight off, aiming to continuously intimidate and take them out. Suge Knight's interview about Eminem. The fact that Dr. Dre was doing good alone didn't sound like good news to Suge Knight, and at every given opportunity, Suge would find a way to ridicule him and his artists. This only got worse when Suge was asked how he felt about Eminem as an artist, and his replies were ridiculous. Suge was on a popular show, and the interviewer asked Suge, what do you think of Eminem? Is that, is that, what do you think of white rap? Suge Knight wasted no time and replied saying, one thing about it is the ghetto, you know, if you're really from the ghetto, rapping about, you talking about, I can respect that. Suge went ahead to add the fact that he would never respect a rapper who couldn't even write his own songs. He added, if someone else writing your rhymes, if you tell him someone else's story, they really don't mean that to me. It was pretty obvious here that Suge wasn't feeling Eminem, and discrediting his craft was the easiest thing to do at that point. He went ahead to say that Eminem was famous and valued because of his color, and a black artist would need to put in more work to be recognized. Although calling Eminem out right there felt like he was just hating on him, because everyone including Suge knew Eminem wrote his songs, but fans believed that it was all because of Dr. Dre and Suge knew Eminem was going big. He simply wanted him gone by all means. Suge's first attempt to kill Eminem Suge's reputation precedes him. He's known for going to great lengths to eliminate anyone he dislikes. An example of such a situation occurred when Suge Knight nearly threw Vanilla Ice off the balcony after he demanded royalties for his viral song, Ice Ice Baby. And guess what? The royalties were promptly paid. That's just how it has been for Suge Knight. That's not all. Suge had this ability to sense talent from afar. And if he's not gaining from that incredible talent of yours, he might as well take you out. Eminem was a noticeable talent, and Suge knew this from the onset. But the fact that the rapper was with his longtime rival was enough reason for Suge to want him out of the picture. Suge made several attempts to take Eminem out, but luckily for Eminem, they all all proved aborted. Yeah, it was all over the news. Suge's attempt to clear out Eminem wasn't something hidden. Suge made it obvious that he wanted Eminem gone, and this fact was confirmed by a lot of people. The most concrete confirmation we probably needed was that of Eminem's former bodyguard, Byron Big Nas Williams. 
Big Nas claimed during an interview with a popular music show that Eminem was almost killed by Suge Knight in 2001 during the Source Hip Hop Awards. While Big Nas was narrating the whole issue, he said, there was a situation at the Source Awards, which was our first encounter with Suge Knight and his henchmen. He continued, they had it to where the artists couldn't sit with the bodyguards. This left Eminem uncomfortably exposed. Big Nas added, I notice Em is in the aisle and he is beeping with all these guys in red shirts. Eminem isn't a calm person and so he's probably already pissed by the number of guys surrounding him. Big Nas also added, I noticed his face changing and he's turning like tomato red and there's a sea of red guys around him. I had to bust through the middle and snatch him up. He said that after they approached these guys dressed in red, they said they were representing Suge's death row records and had been sent to strong arm Eminem. Luckily for them, and with the help of Dr. Dre's bodyguard, he was able to get Eminem to safety. Big Nas described that wild night by saying, we were in beast mode the whole time. One would think Suge Knight would rest after failing to get Eminem this time, but Suge Knight getting rest when the guy he was after was still making rounds? Never. And this leads us to his second attempt at getting Eminem killed. Suge Knight's second attempt to kill Eminem. Suge Knight was the guy who wouldn't rest until he took out that one person he wanted gone. It had always been the case for Suge, so when his first attempt at killing Eminem failed, he went ahead with his plan B. This time, Suge went harder, and this was crazier than the first one. Eminem's former bodyguard, Big Nas, said this one took place when they took a trip to Hawaii. He said what welcomed them immediately after their plane landed wasn't something anyone saw coming. Big Nas said, When the plane lands, we are greeted by 20 Honolulu police officers, and they told us that Death Row is here. They tried to hem Snoop Dogg up. It was crazy, and Suge wasn't only influential in the rap industry. He was feared worldwide to the extent that he was controlling the police. Big Nas added that Suge Knight had sent 50 guys to try to break up the show. When we got there, vacation mode was over. We were locking and loading, putting on bulletproof vests with their wives and girlfriends sitting next to them. Everyone was scared for their lives, and they had to have Interscope pick up the tab to put Honolulu police with each bodyguard because of how deep Suge was over there. Suge had this desire to control the whole hip-hop industry, and to be honest, he tried. But the likes of Eminem, Snoop Dogg, and 50 Cent just wouldn't give in. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks.